Well, I'm glad somebody's happy around here. Hey. hey. What's wrong now? Is it my mother? <clears throat> yeah, it's over. What do you Again. mean? It's over. Why? There's always something with Dorian. Uh. <laughs> well, you know as well as I do, there's always going to be something with Dorian. Doesn't mean you ought to give up on her. And I'm asking her to make a major lifestyle change or anything. I mean, I love who Dorian is and the, most of what she does. So what are you saying? Uh, okay, it's the, it's the way she deals with me. Like, as if I'm not in the room. Mel! Mel, she dotes on you. You're the only man she's ever done that to. I'm not saying I feel neglected. I don't. This is how it works. She handles me by procrastinating. That houseboat that I bought, this is why I bought it. She kept telling me over and over again about this incredible loft space she wanted me to live in, and then she never showed it to me. That's how she keeps control. It drives me nuts. Well, this isn't anything new. I mean, you knew all this going in, didn't you? Yeah, I know. I know. It's not as if I'm making a dramatic pronouncement here, guys. I'm not. I mean, it's not that I don't love Dorian. I do. It's not that I don't want to be with her. I do. It's just that her plate is very full right now, and I don't think she's inclined to give the kind of time a marriage needs in order to survive. I don't think she'd see it that way. I'm sure she wouldn't. It's just that I don't see us going from Mel and Dorian to us. And it's that. That us thing. It's the only way to do a marriage. And I need to feel needed. I, I need to know that I'm not just a vaguely compassionate voice in the background. Wait a minute, are you sure you're not reading this whole thing wrong? No. I'm not sure at all. Maybe I should just... Pray for a sign. You want a sign? Oh. <laughs> the night we met, the first time you fell on top of me and I was wearing this same outfit. We were made for each other. Now you marry me or there's going to be hell to pay. I think there's going to be hell to pay no matter what he does. So, we plan the wedding this afternoon? No. No? No. No plans. You want to marry me? We do it here and now. Here? That's right. Right now. Right now. So? Are you in? Or out? Let's do this. Right now. What do you mean, right now? If we had stopped to think about this when I knocked you down in that hotel bar in D.C., we never got past our first night. That's the key, isn't it? Not to think about it. Not to weigh the pros and cons and, and do all that. Let's just get married, lady. Yes. Go on, Mel. <laughs> Today, this afternoon. Now, if not sooner. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? No, well, that's a discussion we can have later. I'm not getting up until you agree. You're going to have a hard time writing your column from down there. Oh, great. This is all I need today. Another Dorian Mel city room brawl. And why does everything always have to be your way? I've already said I'll marry you. Maybe it's not a brawl, exactly. But there are arrangements that need to be made. The caterers to be hired, mm. flowers, music, mm. something to wear. You look gorgeous in that. That's true. But beside the point, what's going on? It sounds to me like there's going to be a wedding. Mel, come on, get up, will you? You, you look ridiculous like that. Not until you say we're on for this afternoon. It's now or never, Dorian. Which is it? But this afternoon is impossible. No, honey, it's our only option. We have to outsmart ourselves. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not that impulsive. <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. Two words. I do. Come on, Mother, come on. Dorian, please, the suspense is killing me. Mel has the right idea. The right idea? For a man with a lobotomy, maybe. <laughs> you know, we can still run this in the evening edition if you'll hurry it up. You really mean it? With all my heart. But my knees are beginning to have doubts. Oh, Mel. <laughs> I love you, you know. Yes? Yes, you know I love you. Or, yes, you agree we'll get married today. Yes to all of it. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs>
Mary's on her way. Mother, this is so exciting. Oh, yes. Uh, Vicki, is uh, that all right with you? Hey, it gives new meaning to the phrase, stop the presses. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, no, we can, uh, we can do it in the cafeteria. It's a nice, big, large room. The cafeteria? Okay, the city room it is. Wouldn't want to stand in the way of true love. Uh, I gotta call Blair. Bet she's at the sun. Hey, you know what? I can take care of that job for you in person. Give me a chance to scope out the enemy's position. How can we possibly do this? I mean, we have no music, no flowers, no one to officiate. No license. Uh, wait, all is not lost. I haven't cultivated friends in City Hall for nothing. Okay. <gasps> According to my source of the LPD, they won't release the autopsy report. So there's gonna, not going to be a press conference. That's very strange. I know, and they've been interrogating both for over an hour. I better get over there. No, they're not letting press anywhere near the building. Forget about it. A total blackout? Yeah, something big's going on. Sam Rappaport with him? Yeah, Nora, too. Listen, Clint, you've been by his side every waking moment. You, you, you want a path on the floor next to his cell. I really think this is for the lawyers to handle. If there's any new information, my source will tell me. No. My brother's accused of murder. Mel's marrying Dorian. You know, this is a great day. Okay, thanks, buddy. I owe you one. The licenses will be there when I get there. Okay, you have one question. Huh? To answer. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I've, I've already uh, answered all the questions I need to answer. Uh, ask Dorian. Wait a minute. <laughs> we are going to begin this marriage uh, the way we hope it to continue, in harmony. Now. Judge or priest? priest? Judge. Judge. Priest. I'll call Andrew. Are you nervous? Yes. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this an omen? <laughs> you want an omen? You want an omen? Ooh. I'll give you an omen. Mm. Mm. Is this a joke? Well, if you don't believe me, you, oh, you can ask the groom himself. I got my license. Where's my bride? All right, she's oh. Vicky's office oh, getting man. ready, Mellis. Oh, insane. No, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh. Clint. Well, oh. my kids are going to kill me. Yeah. Look, uh, if you want this woman, don't oh, wait. I want her. Well, in that case, I've got a question I've been dying to ask you. Well, just as long as it doesn't require any thought, because I seem to have lost my mind. <laughs> well, maybe that's part of the answer. What do you see in uh, Dorian Lord? My life's going to be a living hell, isn't it? Oh. You know, I think I figured it out. When Muriel died, a big part of me died with her. My heart got small. My judgment got small. I became a small man. I couldn't see his way out of a bottle. And then Dorian came along and everything about her was big. Her passions, her ideas, her plans. Her mouth, her mouth. She made me big enough to crawl out of that bottle and back into the world. Big enough to love again. And hopefully big enough to handle Dorian. Right after a new haircut, my hair goes into shock. Dorian, you have never looked more beautiful in your entire life. Is that you saying that? Apparently. Mm -hmm. Vicky, I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> Do you know I feel a bit like the mother of the bride? <laughs> Turnabout is fair play. I, after all, had to be your stepmother. All right, I think we'll leave father out of this day. A little spooky. Getting married here at your father's newspaper. No, thank you very much. No. This is my newspaper. Or... You can think of it as Mel's newspaper. <laughs> My life is going to be awfully <clears throat> unpredictable with him. As a matter of fact, from the moment that he stumbled onto me and into my life, it's never been the same. It sounds terrifying. You know what's terrifying? It's how hard I've fought him. And if I had won, I would have lost the most perfect man in the world for me <laughs> i don't know what did i do to deserve him i suppose you made a commitment to love him i am in a few minutes from now Boy. he's changed his mind <laughs> not a chance <laughs> she changed her mind i think i'm going to go uh 
don't know, check on things or something. Was ever a woman in this humor? One.